All right, today's gonna be a good day because today is new guitar day. I just ordered a Godin A6. I saw the FedEx truck outside, so let's see what's going on. With this. And there she is. All right, was not planning on doing an unboxing video, but it got delivered pretty early, so I will do that. All right, let's see what's going on here. So, Godin A6. I wanted uh, to try out a hybrid guitar. And uh, a friend of mine uh, used a Godin several years ago, and uh, she loved it. She used it for pretty much all of her guitar, all of her guitar things. Whether it was musical theater or you know, just putting around at home, this is a guitar that she uh, she swore by. So let's see. So you know, this guitar is a pain in the ass to find, just like most of the gear that I buy or that I have a taste for. This isn't really the type of guitar that uh, stores stock. I discovered. So, special order again for me. So, I tried out the, uh, you guys might have seen my, my, my video of the LTD TL6. I tried that for a few weeks and uh, just didn't get into it. You know, there's something about it that didn't sit well with me. I think it's because, uh, just one trick pony, like I said. All right, so I got this from the Guitar Vault. Well, I got it, I ordered it through Amazon, uh, who fulfilled orders for Guitar Vault. And uh, I got it for $7.89, and uh, comes with this little bundle. Got a Snar tuner, strap, capo, some picks, polishing cloth. So I actually wound up being cheaper buying the bundle than it was just to buy the guitar itself. So good on you. Guitar Vault, you guys. Uh, and I called Guitar Vault up just to talk to them a little bit about this this item. Really cool guys. I forget who I talked to, but uh, really cool guys. And Guitar Vault out of LA. All right. So as you see here, the guitar comes with a gig bag. Uh, this package is, is something Guitar Vault did exclusively for their uh, for their selling. Uh, so you most likely will not get this unless you go through Guitar Vault, and I highly recommend you do. So far the case is pretty nice, it's pretty robust feeling, feels very padded, and here we go. Dude. Nice. Alright. I got it in the uh, cognac burst. First glance, kind of shit myself a little, it looked like there were scratches on here, but uh, turns out it's just dust particles uh, let's see finish looks pretty good I'm a little uh, know, skeptical it seemed like it was drop shipped directly from the factory it was came in the golden the Godin box um, but it definitely looks like it, I'm not saying this was used but it definitely looks like uh, I mean, you guys saw the guitar wasn't wrapped in its own plastic. Like when you buy a new guitar, every brand new guitar I've ever bought, unless I pull it off a shelf, comes with a comes all wrapped up in plastic. So this did not do that. Now I don't know if the guys at uh, Guitar Vault ever got this guitar and there's in stock for them, but it definitely looks like there is some some evidence of it being played or some staining. It's a little dirty. Um, I'm not sure, again, with the history of this guitar, is that this was on the shelf at some point. Oh man, that's a nice neck. Yeah, so I don't know. There's there's some uh, some shipping particles perhaps in here. If you guys see any of this stuff, stoked about how it looks for sure, um, but a little bit concerned about 
you know, the origins of this instrument, if it's, if it's used or not. Okay, but let's start off the headstock here. Go Dan. Again, I haven't played this yet. As I see, I just unboxed it. Really, really nice finish though. I do like, I do like this cognac burst. Um, I did think about getting the uh, the natural finish, but uh, 50 bucks more. I figured I'd just get the uh, the finish I really wanted. Uh, this neck. Take a look at that. I have, to, I have to. I forget what the specs are of this. I think I read it's a cedar top, but I'm not. I'm not quite sure. But that's a really nice looking neck. Uh, quick feel. Definitely doesn't feel like a less Paul neck. It's not a fat neck. It feels. It feels comfortable. It's. It's pretty thin. Pretty. Pretty fast. I, I like a, an unfinished neck, and you can tell. You know, there's very little to nothing on there. All right, but that's the unboxing. Again, I'm not sure if this might be an atypical unboxing video because, uh, again, this was, wasn't wrapped at all in anything. So, but anyway, again, there's really nothing. I want you guys to get me wrong here. There's nothing really flawed on the guitar itself. There's no big scratches or anything. Uh, it definitely looks like maybe during inspection, factory inspection, they didn't wipe it up again afterwards, maybe. So, I don't know. So sound samples will be coming in a second. What's going on, guys? This is a new guitar. It's a Godan A6 uh, in Cognac Burst. Uh, really gorgeous instrument, for sure. I uh, just picked it up today. Uh, it came in the mail today. I mean, um, and uh, you know, I've gotten some time to play with it, and um, I have a couple of thoughts here. Uh, maybe you guys who own this guitar can uh, shed a little light on the, on me here. I'm recording right now through Logic, um, through my Fender Hot Rod Deluxe with the uh, SM57 on it. No processing whatsoever. This is all uh, you know, all dry recording, and uh, yeah, my settings are, are relatively flat right now. There's well, tre trebles at seven. Bases at five and mids at eleven. Um, you know, the guys that own this amp know it's a pretty dark amp, so um, I have it set like that just to kind of compensate for it. So, the A6 this is a hybrid acoustic electric guitar. Uh, really nice uh, concept behind it for sure is undersaddle pickup as well as a humbucker. Uh, if you guys saw my other video of the LTD TL6, um, my complaint with that guitar is that it didn't have one of these. Uh, so to make it a little bit more of a, a versatile guitar and something that's uh, you know really useful for for what I need, um, you know I figured you know LTD was a little bit of a one-trick pony for 550. So what did I do? Decided to get a 799 guitar uh, with the added pickup here. And uh, for right now, first impressions a uh, little little bit mixed. You know I have to say um, acoustic integrity plugged in with this guitar is a little bit lacking. Okay, the, uh, the LTD definitely had more of uh, an acoustic presence uh, in its sound, the undersaddle uh, Fishman style pickups. Um, one of the things I think is influencing that is the fact that these are um, not phosphor bronze strings that it comes with. Um, I don't want to call them electric strings either. Um, you know, I think uh, Godin makes these strings specifically for this guitar. Um, you can tell um, they look like nickel, right? It has a wound third. So, you know. It's, it's a little different, you know, it's a little different. And I think these are tens on here. They do feel a little bit tighter. They do feel more acoustic than, uh, than electric. So, you know, I guess there's something to be said with that. But I did watch another video from uh, Troll Music with this guitar and then James, uh, he had two different guitars. One had the, the phosphor bronze strings and the other didn't. And uh, you could definitely tell the, 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 the phosphor bronze uh, strings uh, sounded more acoustic than, the, than these. Um, again, I just got this guitar. Uh, I do want to swap out the strings just to see. I did buy this guitar specifically uh, to use as an acoustic in my uh, in my cover band, so it has to have acoustic integrity, um, or it's it's useless to me. Um, and the idea with the humbucker for me is that I could also use this as a backup uh, electric guitar uh, in case I pop a string on one of my guitars. Um, I'll have this as a as a backup. Um, so normally I bring two electrics and my Martin to my gigs. Um, you know that that cuts down the the the, the cartridge by one guitar, 
Um, and it's not, you know, and it's good because it, it would be cutting down my, my, my big acoustic. So I can definitely fit this in the, uh, my double uh, guitar case uh, with, my, with one of my electrics for sure. Okay, but the, um, the electric integrity is pretty good. It is a neck pickup, so you really don't get that, uh, that bite that you would get out of a, a bridge humbucker. But it's, it's enough to get by, okay? My concern is really the acoustic. Now, the argument is if you put bronze strings on here, will that change the way the magnetic pickup picks up the sound um, electrically? Uh, my guess is yes, but again, the main reason why I bought this guitar is to use it as an acoustic in my band. So that is first and foremost the important thing I, I need to, to, to satisfy. Uh, well, again, the guitar is pretty useless, right? I don't particularly need it to be an electric uh, with this with a pickup in it, um, but it's nice to have again just as a backup uh, and also to save some guitar switching time if I'm playing rhythm throughout one of the, the next song after an acoustic or before an acoustic song, uh, I can most likely get away with it um, with this. Okay, so I'm gonna play just a little bit. Um, you know, my, my playing skills aren't anything to write home about. So um, I'm going to play a little bit acoustic, a little bit um, electric clean, and then I'll put a little dirt through both um, just to kind of show you guys uh, the dynamic range of this. Okay. So again, this is um, the, the electronics for it, in case you've never seen one of these before. Uh, this is the acoustic pickup, the under saddle. Uh, this is the magnetic pickup volume right here. Uh, this is uh, bass and treble for the magnetic pickup. And this is uh, treble, mid, and bass for the uh, for the under saddle. So you do have a nice, uh, good amount of controls, which is which is pretty cool. There are two outputs. This is the mix. Uh, it's not really focusing. Up oh, there. It is. This is the mix output, and this is just the uh, the, the humbucker output. So you, I was going to do both of these things, but I only have one mic uh, set up in the studio today, uh, and, and put it through separate amps. But um, I didn't do that. Right, so, um, but you know, with this, it is the mix, so I can definitely shut off the, the piezo and turn up the humbucker and, and vice versa, okay? Everything here is set pretty much to flat. Um, one thing with this, these dials, there is no uh, stop notch right in the middle, and uh, the line is, is really hard to see. So right now that's, that's set to flat. Again, I don't know if you can even tell. But otherwise, the guitar is made really well. It's a cedar top. I'm not sure what the back material is. It said something silver leaf maple. I don't know what that is. So maybe it's a maple back. I don't know. Uh, it is made in Canada, so maple is, I'm sure, uh, abundant there. So most likely that is what the back is. The neck is gorgeous. Look at that. It's really nice. It's a mahogany neck. Very little finish on there, if any at all. It's, it's, it's really nice. And I do like an unfinished um, a neck for sure. So anyway, here we go. This is uh, piezo only. So this is the acoustic sound through Hot Rod the Loss. This is the uh just the uh, humbucker. Oh, sorry. Ah. You can already tell the humbucker is much hotter. Um, I think I actually clipped a little bit. Let me just turn this down a little. Can mix the acoustic sound in. Okay, so that part is you know it's pretty cool. Oh, let me uh, do some single line on acoustic.
So that's the, uh, the acoustic sound and the, uh, the humbucker uh, separate and it shows you a little bit of it together. Okay, this is a little bit of dirt through uh, Earthquake Devices Palisades. Kick up the gain a little bit. Okay. Um, again, very, very bassy sound for sure. Again, it's a neck pickup. So let me uh, turn down the, the bass, jack up the treble, see if they hear a difference. And then, just for uh, just for fun, this is what the piezo sounds like. Actually, sounds pretty good. Uh, again, that's, that's the piezo right now. That sounds pretty good. Um, almost sounds like a bridge humbucker, you know, as opposed to the uh, the neck. The neck humbucker. So that's that's you know that's that's where it's at right now, um, and I have to say, one thing that kind of uh, bothers me. You can't tell now because uh, you know I'm mic'd a certain way. The output is definitely a little bit softer um, with this guitar than it is for my uh, my Martin. Um, so that could you know could be prob you know problematic just because uh, just you know with the settings I'm going to be using. Normally I put my Martin through the uh, through a PA system. I'll most likely do the same with this. That way, you know, I can control it. So it's kind of irrelevant that this is a little bit um, softer or weaker of a signal. Um, but at the same time, if I wanted to run this through my my electric rig, which you know theoretically you can, you know, it's the volume settings are going to be so different from my electrics to next to this because the electric guitars, which are all my guitars are passive. Uh, still is louder than this guitar. So I might, you know, run into some balancing issues between guitars. So I knew it is I still have the tag on. So you know, if you guys have any thoughts on that, if you own this guitar, uh, definitely let me know. Alright, so this is a Godan A6. Really awesome guitar. I have to say it's put together really well. You know, um yep, sorry. In a Canadian made Really nice, nice, uh, high quality materials. I keep getting stuck there. I like the offset uh, fret markers. Yeah, the finish again is is money. Look at that. Yeah, it's, it was a fifty dollar difference from getting this guitar, this finish with the uh, as opposed to the natural. So I figured I'd just go with uh, the finish I really wanted. Okay, again, really nice guitar. Godan A6. Definitely check it out if you can find it. Um, again, this is such a hard guitar to find. Um, I didn't, I couldn't, like no guitar center, Sam Ash near me had it in stock. So uh, I had to order it, uh, sight unseen and unplayed. So, so you know, time will tell. Um, I have a gig coming up with it soon. So we'll see how it holds up with that. And um, I may swap out the strings, but I don't know if I'll be able to return it with, you know, with new strings on it, I, I don't know. So um, that's that. Hey, thanks for watching guys.